In this video, we are going to have inductive reasoning. Okay, so let me take first the definition of inductive reasoning. It is the process of reaching a general conclusion by examining specific examples. Note, when you examine a list of numbers and predict the next number in the list according to some pattern you observed, you are using inductive reasoning. Okay, let us say for example, in do-it-yourself activity, you are going to predict the next number in each of the following lists. Let's take first letter A. We have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and a blank. We are going to use inductive reasoning to fill in the blank or to to predict the next number to 15 okay we can get the the next number to 15 by finding its common difference so we have here okay so the difference between the two numbers 3 6 is 3 6 and 9 3 3 3 that means to say since we already have the common difference of the sequence then we can say that 3 is our common difference then we are going to add 3 to 15 to find the next number to 15 which is 18 so the number in the blank should be 18 okay so let's take letter B 1 3 6 10 15 and a blank we're going to fill in again the blank or we're going to predict what comes next to 15 okay the same procedure we are going to take then we have okay so the difference between these two numbers 1 and 3 is 2 the difference of 3 and 6 is 3 6 and 10 is 4 10 and 15 is 5 15 and a blank is question mark okay so we will next get the differ the, the common difference of the differences of our sequence these are the differences or the difference number of our sequence so from this set of numbers two three four five we are going to find the common difference so we have here the difference between two and three is obviously it's one 3 and 4 is 1, 4 and 5 is 1. That means to say, 1 is the common difference. If we are going to add 2 plus 1, I mean if you are going to add 2 to 1, that would be 3. 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So if we are going to add 1 and 2, 5, we can get 6 in our question mark. So we have 6 here. That means to say, if we are going to add 6 to 15, we can get or predict now the number in the blank. So we have 6 plus 15 is 21. That means to say, we are using inductive reasoning because we are reaching a general conclusion by exa examining specific examples. So we have here the specific examples in our in our sequence A sequence and the B sequence. The first sequ sequence is 3 6 9 12 15 and 18. The B sequence or the second sequence is 3 1 3 6 3, 10 15 and the 21. So by examining specific examples 
we reached gen general conclusion. Our general conclusion here is the common difference. In letter A, we have concluded that 3 is our common difference in this specific example. In the second example, we have concluded that 1 is the common difference of our sequence. And that resulted 21 as the number next to 15. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.